rototiller and we've started digging up the garden bed and it's super exciting. We got it last night and JR couldn't wait until today to start doing it so we just started tilling it up last night and we got one round done and we need to do at least one more and then we're gonna take some rakes and shovels and level this out and then I will show you the plan. I have it all sketched out on a board inside um, but basically we're gonna put in two 12 by 4 beds in here and then we're also gonna use, where are they, these two tires and fill those with dirt to plant in and then we're gonna do a little bit of planting in the ground also. So the area that we have right here, it looks small in the video but it's 22 feet by 32 feet and it's just super super exciting. I'm super ready to have a real big garden. We've never had a big garden before. We've always tried to grow plants in pots with varying amounts of success but mostly failures. So it's really awesome that we're finally getting to do a big garden. Are my neighbors screaming? I think oh JR says that if there was a bee on her that was anyway I had to stop and put a jacket on it's chillier out here than I than I thought it was. Um we're gonna do at least two videos about building the garden this video and then one where we show you how we're planning on building the beds. We're gonna build two 12 foot by four foot raised garden beds to do most of our planting in. Um, and then I'm also gonna show you in this video what our, our layout is and what implements or props or whatever you wanna call them that we plan on using. So yeah. Old tractor tires. This one is about four and a half feet around on the outside and this one is about six feet around on the outside. So we're gonna be using those to plant in. And then over here, we've got um, this stand um, that this old gas tank used to sit on and we'll, we'll pop we will probably put the gas tank back on top of the stand like as a decoration, um, but we're gonna put either some wire or some wooden trellis up and plant on that. And then we also have this low A-frame that my grandpa had used as a prop for a trailer. Um, he had like a fifth wheel type trailer and he used the A-frame to prop it on. And we're gonna stick that in here and plant, I think probably something ornamental to grow up over that. And then we'll have the two raised beds that will go roughly right here in this corner and the two tires what else do we have the tires and then we're going to be buying some we also are gonna buy some fencing like some uh cattle panels type fencing something like that maybe some sort of livestock panels and use those to make arch trellises across the beds and maybe one in the ground also. So we're gonna have lots of planting space, lots of vertical space so that we can get lots of, you know, a variety of things in here. So it's super duper exciting. I think I've said that before, but I'm excited. So JR just went over it one more time with the rototiller. And I went through while he was doing that and I picked up garbage and big rocks. Not all the rocks, not even close to all the rocks, just the big rocks. And I just wanna show you guys, there's some interesting things in here. So this is the garbage that we found so far. There's several beer cans. Um, I don't know what this used to be. Some hose, some twine, various pieces of plastic. These are all the rocks that I pulled out, or that we pulled out. This giant pile of huge rocks, like, these are not small. These are like as big as my hand, most of them. Some of them are a little bit smaller, but these are some pretty, there's another one. <laughs> now we are going through and just trying to kind of gather up all of the vegetation that's sitting on top. Like this is all grass and roots, and then this is all like clods of roots and stuff like that because we're trying to get rid of the weeds as much as we can. So, yeah. Jared just pulled this can out. Look at the, look at the tab. I wonder how old this can is, that's crazy. So, once we are done pulling out all of the um, roots and all the vegetation that we can, I mean, not all of it, just, you know, most of it, uh, we're gonna go through and start pulling some of the dirt from the, the whole thing is just 
probably two feet higher on one end than on the other end. So we're just gonna start pulling dirt from one end down to the other just to try to level it out a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfectly level, but it'll help us make the beds level and it'll make it easier for us to work in here when we get to planting and stuff next spring. So that's the plan. <laughs> what was it? Oh, nice roofing tile. So in case you're wondering how we're moving all of this stuff, all of the roots and stuff out of here, we are using pitchforks and five gallon buckets and taking them one bucket at a time. inside because the baby woke up from her nap so he went in to hang out with her and I finished getting the rest of the sod out of the garden. There is probably a much more efficient way to get rid of sod in the garden area than what we did so if you're gonna build your garden I would suggest you maybe try to find a, a better way to do it than what we just did. I'm about to go over the garden space one more time with the rototiller but and then I'm after I do that I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you guys the the chart that we made or the diagram or whatever you want to call it the map for the garden space and show you what the plan is um, but before I show you our plan I just wanted to talk to you about starting small this is something that we struggle with big time so that's always the, the advice that everybody gives whenever you're gonna start a new journey whether it's homesteading gardening um, taking up any sort of a hobby everybody always says start small start small start small practice 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 and build up to something bigger and I promise that is always our intention but we tend to get carried away exhibit a is our chickens um we were going to get a chicken tractor that could easily be moved around the yard and we were going to have a maximum of four hens only hens we ended up with a coop that can easily house 12 chickens um, and seven hens and a rooster and you, you, we, we can't move this coop around the yard this is not a chicken tractor um, <laughs> so like I said we tend to get a little bit carried away and we have already done the same thing with the garden and I'm trying really hard to rein it in and not let it get away from me but it already has kind of gotten away from me our original plan was to build two eight by four beds and that was that was what we were gonna have. We were gonna have two eight by four garden beds. We've expanded that to two 12 by four garden beds, two repurposed tires, several things that would be planted in the ground, and a growing number of pots to put things in. So, we, I promise you we are trying to start small. I've trying to map out in the garden and make sure everything that we decide to grow will fit in that space and leave us plenty of room to work um but we we do we tend we tend to to get carried away so i am excited to show you what we have planned hopefully we can stop ourselves from going too far but either way it's going to be a learning experience and it's going to be awesome and I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and follow along on our journey as we figure this all out because we haven't got a clue what we're doing. We're making it up as we go and it's going to be great. I haven't started the tiller by myself yet and JR's inside so I'm about to try this and I'm going to let you guys watch. Wish me luck.
inside now. I went over the bed one more time. We're gonna go out tomorrow and start working on leveling it. And just real quick before I close this video, I just wanted to show you our plans. So I pulled out the chart we made. What we did was we took a giant piece of paper, actually two giant pieces of paper and taped them together and then cut out um, colored paper to put on it. So it's mostly to scale-ish. So it's a pretty good idea of what everything is gonna look like. All right, so I'm actually having to stand up on a chair to make this all fit in the camera frame. Um, but this is the overall layout of everything that we're planning on putting in there and I'm gonna climb down and I'm gonna show you what each of these things is. So we're going to leave the entrance kind of in this area and then we're gonna put our outside table and chairs right here. Um, and this is just like what I figured was the bare minimum space we needed around the table and chairs to be able to sit there comfortably and eat outside or just hang out if we wanted to. And then next to that, we're gonna put that um, that gas tank stand that we're gonna turn into a trellis and we're gonna put that right there next to the tables. And then our two four by 13 beds, I guess I've been saying four by 12, but technically they're gonna be four by 13. We are building them out of pallets. So the dimensions of them are what we can accomplish without having to trim the pallets too much. And we're gonna stagger those, and then in between those, we're gonna put two arched trellises. So we'll build it from bed to bed, and that's what this blue thing is, is just where the arched trellis is gonna be. And then up here in this corner is where we're gonna put our two tires, our two tractor tires. My fingernails are filthy from being out there and picking up all that sod. We're gonna put another arched trellis just straight into the ground, and I think I'm gonna plant like some runner beans or some peas or something like that on it. We'll see what we end up with. And then that little short A-frame that my grandpa built is gonna go up in this corner. In this excess space that we have right here, um, we're gonna put some flower pots and some potato bags. And Evie wants to grow her own tomato plant and her own zinnias, so we're gonna let her plant those right there. Anyways, I hope you found this video interesting or entertaining. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Um, also, you should make sure you check out my Instagram. I'm always updating my Instagram and my stories, so and our day-to-day -day stuff is always on there. Hi, Evie! Um, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day. See you later.